Rescue mission, day 48. Louie has been defeated. Moss should be around here somewhere. Is not the final antagonist of the game. <laughs> Who knew? Although I don't see her. Where is she? Right, administer the cure at once. Yes, Captain. I'll just put this all over his body and then clean him off. So he never he doesn't feel weird about it. Besides the fact that he's now conscious in front of a bunch of people. Television actor Bo. His talent and reputation for method acting precedes him. No matter the role, he always plays himself perfectly. <laughs> I didn't see that what planet he was from. Amazing. The radar isn't picking up the presence of any more leaflings. Could that mean? We've cured every last leafing on this planet? <laughs> All leaflings cured. Great work, everyone! Tales of our success will be passed down for generations. Until a bunch of other tourists come here Happy. and get lost and then die. <laughs> Nelly was so relieved to see that you're alright. I, I admit, uh, it was touch and go there for a while. Uh, I think the biggest threat I faced was my own empty stomach. Now that we're, we've reunited, it feels like I can finally breathe. We owe you Rescue Corps folks big time. Nonsense, we're just doing our jobs. Yes, that's quite enough pleasantries for now. Your doctor filled me in on the current situation. I'd like to have a look at Ochi right away. Specifically his butt. <laughs> so, the the tip of his tail has been has morphed completely into a leaf, and not like one that I could easily pluck from a plant. The symptoms seem to be quite similar to those displayed by the leaflings, if I'm not mistaken. And you've already tried administering your medicine? Yes, I did. It had no effect. I see. What exactly does this medicine consist of? It's a combination of glow sap and non-leafified cells from non-leafified individuals. Hmm, well, I think we've struck upon the main issue then. If administered as a pre preventative measure, the medicine might have worked. But to cure a space dog, you need space dog cells. Do you think you could make a dose of the medicine using Moss's cells instead? Excellent idea. I'm on it. Is Moss here? I have yet to see her. Oh, there she is. Well, shucks, it didn't work. My guess is that we need cells from a dog that hasn't been leafified. Where are we going to find a dog like that on this planet? Excuse me, but while preparing to harvest cells from moss, I came across this. The dog thing's den. Oh, I thought this was a report for me, because it showed my face. Found this- the dog- huge dog thing near the large rock at the back of the swamp. It had something in its mouth. It was that pink person who had the yummy juice. She's getting in the way. I'll just drop her somewhere. A huge dog thing! Could he be talking about... Moss? Pardon? No, not Moss. Didn't some dog-like creature run away with Nelly? Oh, right. I was carried away by some sort of giant dog, wasn't I? I just bounced along its back all over the place. We never stopped to eat, so I must have passed out just from hunger. Honestly, is that any way to treat a renowned medical professional? Nelly, can you remember the dog's tail? Did it have a leaf? Not that I can recall. Though it was hard to see under all that fluff. If we're able to collect cells from that dog, we just might be able to save Ochi. The only problem is, where is the giant dog now? Well, now that Moss is here with us, it's possible that Louis may will try to find and adopt that other dog. If we follow Louis's scent, it could lead us right to the pooch we're looking for. It's worth a shot. We have a new mission. Track down Louis in the primordial thicket. Keep your eyes peeled for any sign of that giant dog. Copy that. 
<laughs> so there's another dog? That's... What on earth is that silhouette? I hate that. Is that like a a furry bread bug? To cure Ochi's tail, we'll need sails from a dog without a leaf on its tail. You will need to get close to that giant dog that Lu Louie is with. Uh -huh. All right, then. First off, I gotta check. I gotta check. Probably not a thing. I'm just curious. Okay. Hasn't changed. Secondly, we have some quests to complete, I think, which will put us over the edge to get the final pluck phone upgrade. Fact. The onion has fused, acquiring a notable degree of color from the ones it fused with. Hmm. It seems to have matured splendidly as well. This might be as far as an onion's development goes. Not true. That is, in fact, very wrong. And I hate you for saying that. There are more onions. There's an orange onion! Your minuscule brain cannot comprehend that. With your assistance, I've obtained valu invaluable research data. Thank you. Hey, that's a quest. Uh, oh yeah, we have that. Oh, and we... Hold on, one sec. We plant this. Okay, there's that. Get golden all battles. Sweet. Yep. All right, we definitely got to keep this up. Got to check real quick. I have a lot of loose ends this episode. Wow. Let's tie them all up. Platinum, platinum, platinum. We did plat the final battle. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Uh, as for you, I gotta plat this. That is a loose end. Oh, we get the we get the gold. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna get the pluck a phone real quick because that that upgrade's gonna carry with me into this. Yeah, get platinum in all challenges. <laughs> Your wish is really just a minor, minor inconvenience for me. It's gonna be easy, but first let's do this. Plucking whistle. That'll speed up the Stendori challenge, I think. I think there were Pikmin to pluck in it. Sweet. And then... We have seven. Did it take eight? I think it took eight. Which is kind of sad. Why, why would it take eight? Does it take seven? It takes eight. Why? Why? We're gonna be done with the game by the time we get this thing. Like, it, in a new game plus scenario, sure. But it's kind of weird that they cap this to the after game. Not a fan of that. Okay, who else can we talk to? Is there anyone? There is Bo. It would be remiss of me not to acknowledge or even thank you for saving my life. So, thank you. That said, I came here as an actor and as a master of my craft with the express purpose to get shipwrecked. I'm preparing for a role, you see. But I'm sure this experience, being saved, can be put to good use as well. If you must know, I will be embodying the lead role in a series where my character is shipwrecked on an unknown planet. I will always prepare for roles through real-life experiences. Though finding an unexplored planet was a challenge, I nearly gave up. But then out of nowhere, I heard about this uncharted planet and I couldn't let the opportunity slip through my fingers. So as you can see, being shipwrecked was not my true intention. But my plans were cut short when my suits for sleep mode kicked in. Oh, I've embodied a myriad of characters. I've prepared each one with gripping and first-hand experiences. I've been a cheerful yet, yet... Oh, wait, wait. I've been a cheerful yet a sprightly plumber. Uh, I can't do a Kirby impression. An adventurer who can ingest anything. Or even a hero with a traumatic past. Captain Olimar's experiences are certainly leading raw material. In fact, I'm terribly jealous I couldn't go through them myself. It would be nearly impossible to recreate such circumstances, so I'll just ask if I can interview him for a character study. The work of the rescue course is truly impressive, nay, astounding. I'd love to hear all about it sometime, for research. Of course, there'd be something in it for you as well. You don't have a copy of my, my autograph yet, do you? 
my younger brother Alpin came here as well. I'm sure his journey was meant to inspire then his next great adventure. It was he who took over the f our fussy father's business so I could pursue my dreams. I'm quite proud of him. He's very reliable. <laughs> I know I know twins are famous for mischief, but I'm very sorry for all the con inconvenience my brother and I have caused. <laughs> I'd like to offer you more than my most uh, s sincere apology. Would you like to also have a copy of my, my autograph? It's the least I could do. <laughs> I'm famous for my role in Carrot Planet. My character crashes on an unknown planet, and his life support system is running out. So he forges a cooperative relationship with these strange little creatures he meets while he's there. He fights for his survival against many a formidable creature, but ultimately makes his escape. I'm grateful to say that the Carrot Planet 2 may also be well received by the critics. My character makes it home but learns the company he works for is now buried in debt. He returns to the planet with his unreliable partner to collect enough treasure to repay the debt. It's more of a buddy comedy slash treasure hunting adventure film. I love that that's a reference to Pikmin 2 and it's the only reference up to Pikmin 2 in this game. That's sad. I wasn't the lead in Carrot Planet 3 per se, but my character was really the heart of the film. He returns to the planet to hunt for treasure to repay yet another debt, only to be taken captive by a mysterious creature that appears out of nowhere. My role is still pivotal, you see. Also, Pikmin 3. Oh, the story sounds familiar, does it? Well, of course it does. I'm, I'm delighted to report that the films were universal hits. I'm sure you've seen them as well, and for that, I thank you. Would you be interested in receiving a copy of my autograph? If you must know, I will be embodying the lead role in the series when my character is shipwrecked on an unknown planet. I- oh wait, okay, so that's- that's his loop. That's his loop. And just saying, giving him a different voice every time and sometimes every sentence was very difficult. Let's go talk to Schnoz! How's the romance there, buddy? Have you looked at the moon recently? Well, clearly we don't have all the treasures, but we're, we're gonna take a, a good old-fashioned look just at the collections, just to get, take tally of which ones we've finished. The Rubber Cutie series, observe. Lots of ducks, including that one. The Sweet Tooth series. A beautiful spread of delicious tarts that, actually these, are these even sweet? I feel like these are more salty. Delicious tarts that would give you diabetes. Also, what is the, hold on. What are the notes on this? The shiny table is used for a ceremony use, uh, meant to bring good luck with money. It works like this. Jump over the table once and make a profit. Jump over it twice and make a fortune. Jump over it thr uh, thrice and the sky opens and money rains down upon you. Or so one hopes anyway. Apparently, if you can jump over this, you'll be blessed with great wealth. I'm not the superstitious type, but I've, I'm tempted to give it a try. I could use the extra cash. The only thing that's are standing in my way are my poor middle-aged hip joints. Oh, poor Olimar. <laughs> the Dazzle series? I love that it's <laughs> the dichotomy. So we have, we have a, a whatchamacallit, a, a pop, a thing, a ring pop. Ring pop, that's, that's the name. We have a ring pop, we have probably like $10,000 in gold. I don't know the price of gold. A candle? Okay. A wedding ring? Sure. A pearl, and then glow bracelets. I love how hodgepodge this is. The Recreation Recollection, Recollection series? Balls and a grip? The Gimme Gimme series? Chips? This one's incomplete! Interesting. This one's also incomplete. Very interesting. The Sacred Sphere series, incomplete. The Spring Crop series, lots of fruit. More fruit. Delicious. More fruit. Uh, this? More fruit. I'm showing them all off. We're, we're taking tally here. Lots of fruit in this game. It's It really is a mix of Pikmin, Pikmin 2 and 3 in that regard. Lots of random garbage that's considered to be treasure. Lots of actual antiques. 
lots of little clever nods to Nintendo history, and some fruit along the way. Which I guess Pikmin 2 also had fruit. This one's incomplete as well. Interesting. Great adventure. Watch is still stuck. Roundabout, Roundabout Express. Oh, this one's done, and it, the train's moving. That's a lot more than I expected from this, to be honest. It's so cute. The Oral Ornaments series. All stuff involving mouths. All right. Man, a, an actual dog would blow their minds. Yeah, look at him. Look at him. Voltron has assembled. The paint is incomplete. The Dogu continues to haunt me forever. Gifts from the sages. <laughs> Great. Paleontology. Point of horror. That is horrific, actually. Incomplete. Incomplete. Bunch of veggies. The swords and the pins. Giant toys. Bunch of cards. I kind of wish these were fanned out. This is a vibe, though. Kind of reminds me of um, Mango's, uh, like, his, like, in-between capper video that he puts on the loop. So we have quite a few series that are incomplete, actually. Do drop by any time you'd like to peruse the treasure catalog. Uh, we don't have any new enemies to examine, so... Oh, wait, wait, we have a little bit of dialogue from our fearless captain. They're all cured. Well done. Oh, yeah, that's a thing. Although plastic really doesn't have a, much meaning now, other than consumables, I guess, which maybe I should get on. It's official. You are a full-fledged member of the crew. Oh, boy. I am so glad I asked for your help. Cool. Let's do it. Let's go back to the, prim to the primordial thicket and see what on earth is awaiting. That's... It's gonna be really weird. Oh, wait, 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 Hold on. Dead door challenge. Let's do it. Bring it on. Oh, I have to pluck a phone. Yes! Hold on. I'm restarting it with that knowledge. That's insane. And it's as simple as whistling them, saving an insane amount of time. Getting this guy from behind so I can throw them on his sack. He's dead. And I'm gonna save them. Deal with this. Cause that's gonna take forever with, with anything other, uh, anything else. 20 seconds to spare. That is the power of the pluck -a phone Which, it's insane that without it, I probably would have failed this, but... That just goes to show how hard these got. Nine seconds to spare. Platinum. That's every single Dandori challenge and versus dual challenge fight in the game. Platted. I am, in fact, a Dandori deity. No, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> no. Well done. The simulation in your mind seems to be quite thorough. Here's some more worthless material. Mastering Dandori is a process that never ends. The effort will continue to shape you forever. Everything's platted. Everything's gold. Everything's beautiful, except for the final reward, which we will get one day. Oh, Moss! Let's go interact with Moss. I still don't trust you. You are evil. Does Olimar say anything? Everything will work out. I'm confident we'll find a way to cure Ochi. Let's chat. The truth about Louis is that he has a good heart, d deep down, beneath all those clumsy and awkward parts, and the parts that are just straight up evil. I'm sure he had his own Louis-like reasons for challenging to you to a Dandori battle. You think you could just let it go and forgive him? For, for me? I know you're busy. Do you, do you want to keep talking? No, we're good. You're blind. You don't have the events of Pikmin 2 to tell to show you the truth. He's he's learning the lesson that he learned in Pikmin 2. It's all right. We understand. We understand. We're out. We live outside the timeline. All right. Let's do it. The finale of the game right now. We're ready to go. 
Make your way over to the SS Bagel, Jeff. Hold on, there, there's one last thing. What, is it Nelly? As strange as it may be, Louis did look after me in, in his own way. So please do your best to rescue him and bring him back in one piece. Uh, there's a small matter that he and I need to, to discuss. Uh, we'll do, Doctor. Oh my, you're, you're so sweet. You can take it from here, I'm sure. Hmm, her smile seems to be masking some pretty intense feelings. I doubt she's forgiven Louis for stealing that juice. Yeah, she's pretty serious when it comes to food. Well, our mission is clear. Find Louis and extract the necessary cells from that dog. Good luck, Jeff. You got it, Shepard. In fact, dare I say, copy that. The SS Bagel is prepped and ready. I was hoping we find Louis soon. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm ready. The final boss of the game. Let's go.